Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand. So it's been 12 weeks, now what? So it's actually been three months since I posted my first video on the Beard Brand channel. And in that video, I talked about giving your beard uh, at least 12 weeks or three months in order to uh, see what it's ultimately gonna look like. And in that, I gave a charge to do it without trimming, to then take inventory and see what you got. And I know that a bunch of you have been doing that because on my Instagram feed, I've been getting some messages and some comments on pictures about people who have done that, who have given it three months, who started actually then, or um, were into it just briefly and decided to stop trimming. They're taking inventory, and in some cases, I'm getting a big thumbs up from people saying, that's great, that's the best advice. They'll send me a picture and say, what should I do now? And in some other cases, um, it's, um, it reveals that their beards aren't quite um, what they thought they were going to be. I'd like to talk to you about what do you do at the end of a three month growing period. A lot of people grow for a year, and, and honestly, most people aren't gonna do the year and grow their beard for a whole year. Most people have what in mind, typically, a beard that's probably about three, four, or five months long. Uh, as their ultimate beard length. Uh, it's, I call it a practical beard, a uh, beard that can easily be worn in business, that doesn't get in the way if you're working in construction or if you're working um, out in the hot sun all day. Uh, it's, a, it's more of a manageable size. So you have a beard that you've been letting go for about three months, and without trimming, you might have noticed that your hair grows fairly high on your cheeks or that your neck uh, is completely covered, um, for those of you who are quite hairy. So at this point, you should take inventory and decide ultimately what is the look uh, that I want for this beard. Um, there's good, some good examples within the beard brand team about what you can, um, by looking at Eric or Carlos or Jeff, uh, to see um, what kind of edging or lining that uh, you want to do to your cheeks. In previous videos, I've talked about uh, leaving your, um, your beard a little more natural on your cheeks. But I've also talked about the fact that some guys' hair grows fairly high on the cheeks. So you might want to get, eliminate that by plucking and then decide if you want a, a stronger line here. Um, now's the time that you can do that. I would start that process by looking at the people um, that you admire. So hopefully it's someone on the Beard Brand team or um, uh, look up images online, put um, like a three month beard or a medium length beard and see what comes up or check out the images on Instagram. So um, having that in mind will help you um, decide how you're going to uh, line the top of your cheek um, and how you're going to, or whether you're going to leave it natural or not. So that's for people who have a full beard um, with great uh, density and um, there's uh, a lot of options there. If you're quite hairy and it's going up to the tops of your cheek, you can decide to pull it down quite low. Um, some people line their beards the whole way down uh, to the, almost to the jawline and some people keep it up high. So lots of options with a fuller beard. But what if you've taken the three months, that 12 weeks, and it's revealed that not only do you have bald patches um, that are covered over in some cases, but it's just not growing how you thought it was. So I've been getting a lot of messages from uh, guys that are 18, 20, 22 years old. Uh, about their beards and um, after the end of a three-month process they've realized that uh, their beards aren't quite what they thought it was going to be. They had never let it go three months in length. And uh, my advice is you might give it another month but look at, after looking at some of the pictures I see that the hair just isn't there yet. So no amount of time is going to help blend over a beard that is really absent. What I see a lot of on guys who are in that age, you know, it's even called 16 to uh, 23, is a fuller chin strap, a lot of hair density uh, below the chin, and then a lack of hair either connecting from the sideburns uh, to the goatee, like in my case, or a total lack of hair on the chin. So no amount of time is going to help if your beard is starting at the bottom of your chin or if it's starting down here on the sides. So at that point, you have an opportunity to say, hey, I'm just going to wear this beard and I'm going to own it. Or you can say that there are more options uh, for facial hair beyond wearing a full beard. So that's when you can start looking at, do I have more density on the sides of my cheeks? Do I have more density in the goatee area? Do I have a chin strap? 
And by taking inventory at the end of that process, at the end of that time process, you uh, can then say, I'm going to trim back some of the areas. So you can uh, Google and look online like goatee or um, sideburns or mutton chops or chin strap, number of different shaped beards, and decide that my facial hair at its current length at my age is going to look best if I actually forgo doing a full beard and actually take more of a, um, a stylized approach to the, way, to the way I'm going to wear facial hair. Or you can decide, I'm just going to wear a mustache. Or I'm just going to wear a handlebar, not a handlebar like this, but a handlebar in a more traditional sense, a uh, mustache. So look at your face and study it. Um, no amount of wishing is going to help you grow your hair. Sorry that I have to be the bearer of bad news. But I want to remind people that I, uh, for one, um, was a very late bloomer. I'm going to post a picture um, on Instagram fairly soon, um, you know, showing that what my beard looked like at 30 years old compared to what it looks like now. Um, it's without question that it has definitely gotten thicker as I've gotten older. And that might be the case for you. So there is hope. But for now, it might be best to have a smaller amount of facial hair in the form of a mustache or strong sideburns or only a goatee until other areas of your face sprout hair. In some cases, they're not going to. Uh, but in a lot of cases, throughout your 20s, your beard will get thicker. I think genetics has something to do with that. I think it's luck of the draw for me that I just happen to be a late bloomer with the beard. So comment below and tell us uh, what your beard journey has been like in these three months what you uh, see yourself doing with your beard. We're very curious to see um, how you would treat um, a beard that might not be as full as you would like. And uh, so take some of those tips about referencing other people's beards, beards that you admire, or other facial hair that you admire, and you can start thinking about cutting your beard. We'll address cutting some of those shapes in a future video. But for now, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, beard on. Now that you're done with this video, Head over to our shop and treat yourself to some fine beer brand products. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that button and keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.